Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kristen and I'm a first year third grade teacher and this is my classroom setup series and today is day four. If you haven't seen my other classroom setup videos, make sure to check those out and subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more videos like this. So as some of you may know, in the description of my other videos, I linked my Amazon wish list. I didn't really put it out there as much. I more posted it on Facebook for like friends and family if they wanted to purchase anything for my classroom. But I actually have gotten so many things purchased for me and sent to me. So I wanted to go ahead and just open them on camera and say thank you to everyone who has donated things to me. Um, I will again link my Amazon wish list in the description of this video as well. So I actually opened some boxes already because I didn't realize how many people were gonna send me things. Um, so then once I started getting more things, I decided I would just make it a little part of the video to say thank you. But first I got the Bridge of Terabithia book and the first four Magic Treehouse books from my old roommate, Chrissy, and her husband, Dale. So thank you so much to Chrissy and Dale for these books because I'm super excited about these. I also got um, this book, Eyes That Kiss in the Corners, and some bumblebee lights from Terrific and TK, Karen Howard. I know that she has commented a lot on my other videos and I'm super grateful for the advice that she's given. And so thank you so much, Karen, for the book and the lights. I'm super excited. I'm probably gonna put those lights up around the bulletin board. I got a couple items in one bag, but there's two different slips. So it might've just sent them at the same time. Um, but it looks like the string lights. I also got another set of the string lights, which I'm super excited about because I can put them all over my classroom um, from Andrew Chambers. So thank you, Andrew. And then I also got some um, like macrame garland that I'm gonna hang up probably like around my boards and stuff. So it just looks like this. And these are from a teacher in South Carolina from AJ. Um, so thank you. Um, so this box is from Nicole G. I know that she commented on one of my videos and suggested um, a personal laminator mm -hmm. and asked me to put it on my wish list and then she purchased it for me. So thank you so much, Nicole, because this is really gonna be helpful, especially because I just had surgery and I can't get over to the school as much. I'm actually really surprised that I was able to get here today. Thank you so much because she gave me the laminating pouches and the actual laminator. So thank you. Um, this one didn't come with a tag that said who it's from. It was in a big box. So this is what it looks like. And I think this is gonna be so cute in front of my door. So I'm definitely gonna go put this out there right now and probably take a picture. Thank you so much to everyone that has donated something to my classroom, whether it be from the Amazon wish list or just like something that was gifted to me that they gave. Um, I was given bookshelves and so many books, um, just like supplies and things. And everyone who has just been so helpful to me during this process, I feel so supported. So thank you so much for supporting me because I really didn't think that this many people were going to wanna watch my videos and I didn't think that this many people were going to send me things. So thank you so much um, because every everything helps really. But on another note, we are here at the classroom because we're gonna get some stuff done. I need to print out some things. Um, and I have Ivy and she is going to probably drive me nuts because I am having a hard time keeping her wrangled in here. But um, yeah, we're gonna get some stuff done. I really don't have a whole lot specifically planned. I kind of wanted to get my other borders um, on the bulletin board and the fabric up on the other two bulletin boards and really just like organize because my room is a disaster right now. So I just unboxed these little bumblebee lights and I did not realize that they are battery powered. So I'm going to have to get some batteries and then bring them back the next time I come and then I can actually turn these on, but I think I might still set them up. I want to put them around the bulletin board.
So I don't really love that this is just like hanging right here. I don't know. I'm not really exactly sure what to do with that. Um, it also just kind of looks like garland at this point. I think when it's lit up, it'll look a lot better, but I might switch that. Not sure. I do really like the idea of having it over here though. So maybe I'll do it like on top of the board so they're not like hanging and we're like sitting. So I have this little bulletin board right next to my door. Here it is, there's my door. So I was really thinking that I wanted to do something like welcoming on that bulletin board. So like first day of school or like hello third grade or something like that. And then I was thinking that maybe I wanted to change it out like occasionally throughout the year. Um, just depending on like the season, I think that would be fun to have like one that changes because I plan on leaving this one and the other one probably the same the whole year. So I really like it. Um, it obviously just needs words, but that just already makes it feel so much more put together. Um, this one's gonna be like the one that totally doesn't match the other ones because I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna stick some of that same paper that I used for that one on that one over there in the corner. Ivy, what are you doing? Okay, so I'm gonna have to go home because Ivy is not having a good time anymore. It's pretty late. We need to go grab dinner and then it's also time for her to go to bed. So, but I'll show you what I did so far. I really didn't do that much. This is probably gonna be combined with a part two. Um, so I'll come back on another day and do a little bit more. But I got this bulletin board up. I will just need to make the letters, print them off, cut them out. I got this bulletin board all up. This is probably gonna be the one that's gonna list like the class birthdays and stuff. And then I also put a border up around this board. Um, I've seen a lot of teachers do that and I thought it looked really cute. I want to put it around my other boards as well, but I didn't have enough with me today. So I just went ahead and only did this one. We're gonna leave, I swear. <laughs> Say bye bye. Until next time. Okay, I'm back today and I don't have my child with me, um, which I know is probably gonna disappoint some people, but I cannot get things done when she's here and rummaging through everything and making a bigger mess. So um, I'm here by myself just to get some things done for a few hours. I have access to the color printer today, super great. And I am going to try to get a lot of my decorations printed out. I brought batteries for my bumblebee lights. So I'm gonna put those in really quick while my computer is starting up. And then I think I'm going to try to actually label my library books today. So those are my goals. Might write it down somewhere so that I don't forget. I have so much on my mind though. So I have a lot. So I was finally able to get access to the color printer and the laminator. So I have a lot of like my numbers and my letter posters printed out and laminated. So now I need to just go through and like, you know, cut around the edges. So I've heard um, that if you spray this with like some matte um, sealer, it's supposed to take the gloss and shine off of it. So that way the lights don't interfere with like your ability to see these or I guess so they show up better in pictures. So I'm going to try this, I'll try it with one um, before I do all of them. But I'm just gonna lay them on the floor and let them do that while I finish cutting out some of the other things. I'll just do like a, few of them at a time, spray them all down, let them dry, and then come back and switch them out. So surprise! Have visitors. Abby, say hi. Hi. Um, and I did a lot of 
planning with some of my team members and then I had to cut out all of my stuff and now I am ready to actually hang it up and it's already almost five o'clock. So I'm gonna get to doing that really quick with Dan's help and uh, hopefully get out of here soon. Well, I think that is all for my video today. I got quite a bit done, but not as much as I wanted to because I got really distracted with my team teachers halfway through my time being here. But I'm so glad that Dan and Ivy came back and helped me out because I was not going to be able to get all of that up by myself, especially because I'm not tall enough without a really tall ladder to do part of the hanging up process. So I'll just do a quick overview of what I got done today and then I will wrap up the video. So I got all of my alphabet letters hung up above this long board over here. The glare is kind of gone, but it still shows up on some of them. But I tried with that spray stuff and it really just made my room smell like nail polish remover. And uh, so that was kind of not good. And then I got these multiple numbers up above the whiteboard over here. I did not spray these with the stuff and they show up more, way more with a glare. But I'm thinking about making this board right here, my math center board. So I'll probably put like whatever we're working on that, that unit, um, all of the stuff on that board right over there. And I'll probably do something with like writing and reading on that board because that's the side with all the letters. And then I got all of my 10 frame uh, numbers up here. I also sprayed these with the, the matte cover and it still makes them have a huge glare. And then the last thing I did was just like cleaned up the room a little bit. It was getting to be out of control. I just had books and things all over the desks and I needed to, I literally just shoved most of it into those cabinets and I'm just gonna come back to it later. But in order to feel like I was actually getting things done. I had to get rid of all the stuff that was just sitting on the desk. So now this is more like what the room will look like when the students see it. And then I just put most of the books over here in the library area. I still have not labeled them and I need to get bins for the different um, levels and also for like the different sections because I'm gonna have some nonfiction books that won't have like a level necessarily. And I also need to print out a few more things for this bulletin board, but then I'm pretty much done with that one. I just have to get the letters for those two and some more bulletin border, but I'll definitely do that in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Again, subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more videos like this. Um, the school year is almost here, so my classroom setup series is gonna be over soon. Leave a comment if you have any ideas for future videos that you'd like for me to do. I have a few ideas in my head of things that I want to do just based on things that I like watching other teachers put on YouTube. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Say bye.